Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can upgrade Windows 10 to Windows 11 without supporting Windows 11. If your PC doesn't support, you can do this with this method. You can install with this method. So here, if you don't have TPN 2.0 or your CPU is not supported, you can still install on your older hardware. Although it's not recommended, you can install and it's it's from Microsoft recommendation, so you can try the Windows 11 to see how it works and if you like it. This also will save all of your application, nothing will be deleted if you follow the tutorial as it is. So let's get started. And so the first thing that we need to do is to check if you are on the latest version 10. So here how you can do it, just type in win ver like this and and here we're gonna run this command click on it and here you will see your version of windows so as you can see make sure it's 22 h2 it's the latest version version of windows 10 so if it's not on the latest one you can go here and type in windows update and update it to the latest version so we go to Windows, we're gonna type Windows and check for updates, make sure it's on the latest version when you check here on Windows Update. So I'm not gonna do that because it's on the latest version. So after we've done that, now we can go to our website here. This is a Microsoft website. This is official Microsoft website, so... So here we're gonna scroll all the way down. And here, where it says download Windows 11 disk image, we're going to click on select download. And we're going to click on Windows 11 multi-edition ISO for x64 devices. Click on this and click here. Bef as you can see here, where it says before you begin downloading ISO, click on this download now. Now here it will ask you to select the product language. Now if you don't know which product language you have on your Windows 10, the best thing you can do is to go here and copy this command. This will be again in the description below. And here we're gonna go and start. And here we're gonna type a command which is cmd going to type command cmd and here we're going to type in cmd and here you can click here run as administrator or you can right click and run as administrator make sure it's run as administrator because otherwise and now here will pop up this one and click on yes And here we need to to type our command that we copied before. So here's the command that we need to put here. We're gonna press an enter. And we're gonna wait for our windows to check for the language. As you can see here on default system language here, you will see here United States, it's installed for me. You will see here install languages is as well United States. If you have other language, make sure you select here your correct languages. So if you have English Great Britain, for example, you will go for this English International. If you have like me, you will go for this one, English United States and click on confirm. And here you will click on 64 bit download. And it will start downloading the file. So here we will go to where we downloaded our file and go to downloads, right click on this Windows 11 file which you downloaded and click on mount and click on open and here we're gonna click on setup. So we're not gonna install yet to do more commands but 
we need to do this in order to get the MO setup folder in registry editor. If you don't do this, you may not have the MO setup. So I recommend you to do this first in order to have the folder that we need to modify. And here you will see this windows pop up here, this window. So we need to wait for it to finish. And after this it says this install Windows 11, we're gonna close this setup so we get the folder as I mentioned before. Just close it and wait for this clean cleaning up to finish and we will continue to the next step. After the setup has been closed, go again to start and we need now to do the modifications in order to install Windows 11. So here we're gonna type in registry and as you can see here the pop-up registry editor right click and run as administrator now here on registry editor we need to go this on hk local machine open this then we're gonna go to system and then we're gonna go to setup and here we're gonna scroll down to the MO setup and here right click on it new and click on this D forward 32 bit value and here we need to paste this this word we need to paste this word this will be in the description below so you can paste it and copy here press on enter so as you can see now we have the a lot of upgrades with unsupported TPM or CPU. Double click on it and here we need to type in number one. And here we're gonna click OK. And make sure when we double click on it, make sure it says value data number one. Click OK. And we can close this window now. And I'll go here and start and type in CMD and right click on it, run as administrator. And now we need to go to start and we need to type here CMD and right click on this CMD, click on run as administrator. Here we have to locate which letter this mounted this mounted setup is. For me it's on F, for you maybe it's on E, on D, on maybe it's on B or on F. So for me it's here on F, for you maybe it's other letter like B or others. So for me I'm gonna type in F and two dots and press and enter. And as you can see, we are on F here, and we need to paste this command here. This will be in the description below. Press and enter, and it should, after you press enter, it should automatically begin the installation. As you can see, it shows now here the installation of Windows. So we can minimize this and minimize this as well. So we're gonna wait for this to finish this preparing window. And here it says install Windows Server, but it's actually installing Windows 11. So click on Next. So don't worry about this. Click on Next. And it's going to check for updates. As you can see, it says checking your PC. And it should skip this process because we already have bypassed all the commands and with more setup. As you can see, it bypassed the what it needs to check so click on accept and here it will ask us choose what to keep so if you did everything correctly and the language pack is installed correctly here it will say keep file settings and apps for you it will not say this if it's wrong language installed so make sure if it's correct language installed you will have this option here keep files settings and apps so I'm gonna click on next you can also click on nothing if you 
don't want anything to save on your PC so it means everything will be deleted from your PC including all the apps and all the settings and now here we're gonna choose the language that we want and region we click on yes if it's the right region change the keyboard layout if you need and I'm gonna skip this now here we're gonna go by choice I'm gonna go for personal use next and then we need to sign in with Microsoft account so go next uh, sign in so now here we need to create a new Microsoft account if you don't have click on this and here just create new account and that's it click on next and that's it guys we're in windows 11 if you enjoyed this kind of videos subscribe to the channel and like the video and see you next video bye